Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hello, Ben <laughs> Narlock. My name is TJ Armstrong, and I'm going to be walking you through this session today. Before we begin, I have some information for you, and I'm going to read it to make sure that I cover everything. You probably have a good idea why I asked you, but let me let me go over it again briefly. We're asking people to try using a website that we're working on so we can see whether it works as intended. The session should take about 10-15 about <laughs> minutes. The first thing I want to make clear right away is that we're testing this site, not you. You can't do anything wrong here. Right. In fact, this is probably the one place today where you don't have to worry about making mistakes. Oh, oh, finally. As you use the site, I'm going to ask you as much as possible to try to think, for you to think out loud as you do things. This I have to think a, out loud? Yep, so okay. you got to talk through it. Oh, man. This will be right. a big... So what if I don't? Then I've done something wrong. No. Oh, okay. That's just how it goes. All right. Gotcha. Okay. Um, well, let's see. Um, yeah, we'll just skip that part. Okay. So, I want you... So right now, what do you think of this website? Like, what do you think <clears throat> of the layout? Um, and it's, uh, the information presented? What do you think? It's it's a pretty nice website. Yeah. It's got it's got a lot of uh, it's really busy. Obviously, mm -hmm. um, it's like it's like center justified on the page, and mm -hmm. there's like like two inches of margin on the sides. But I mean, yeah, it's I don't know. I'll have to you know kind of comb <laughs> through it to see how how like good it is. All right, I'm gonna ask you to do three tasks while we're on this website. Okay. First task, would you please be able to find tomorrow's weather forecast? Okay. Well, found it. Oh, wait. No, I didn't. Never mind. That's yep. current for forecast. Oh, man. All right. And then you got to click on it. Do I do this I, right now? Yep. You got it. I got to do this right it's now. Live. This could take a while. Uh, all right. Can it be? Does it, it got to be on this website that I find it? Gotta be Star Trek. All right, tomorrow's webcast or forecast is. I don't know. It talks about the next seven days being relatively mild. Mm -hmm. Goosebump alert. Um. Let's see if I can find tomorrow directly, but extended forecast. Okay, found it. Mm -hmm. That was pretty quick. They got it. And to find that information, was that easy? Could they have this, the producer of this site, could they have done a better job to make it more accessible to someone? Oh, no, they put it right there. Right where it's supposed to be? Oh, yeah. All it's right. just like, I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to be there, but like, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's right there. All right. It's very helpful. Okay. Second, <laughs> second task. Could you please find an action movie showing near me or you? Oh, man, okay. This might be a little more challenge. Yeah, it could be. Uh, can I search the site? Yeah. Like, it's like certainly. database, I guess, or whatever. All right. And you said action film? Yep. Oof, that's tough. I don't know. We're on a we're on a, a, a news site. I feel like it's not gonna want to tell us this information. I'm trying to think of like <laughs> what steps could you take? I'm yeah. I'm trying to think about like what maybe if I go into video. Hmm. Yeah, like sub a sub menu for video like. Are you feeling 
frustrated. I'm really angry right now. Very angry. Uh, and now, you know, if you go on through, like, websites before, do you, at this point, would you give up? Or give up and try to find another website that would be easier to find the information? Or would you stick it out for a while and try to accomplish your goal on the site? Well, I'd probably just Google it right mm, off the bat. I see. But, um, I mean... Yeah, I mean, depends on what your site's geared toward. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, yeah. I would, I, if I was looking for it on this website, an uh, action film near me, I would by now have definitely given up. And but maybe, um, maybe some people would try and tough it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if you've looked adequately enough for yourself, we can move to the last task. If you All right, yeah, all right. Gonna... Final task. Find a good restaurant to visit using this site. Alright. Let's see. A good local restaurant or just a good restaurant? It could just be a restaurant in general. Talk through your process right now. Oh, well, well, I've we'll, just been searching food yeah, we'll in their kind of, search browser. Kind of at barriers the are you facing right now? Are you um, getting kind of stuck? I mean, they just they keep giving me, I'll be searching food and they keep giving me like articles that I guess reference food, but they're not. I searched local food and I kind of would, if I searched articles and then food, I would expect them to be like, or like. Articles in local food, I'd expect restaurants or something, or articles about restaurants nearby. Um, I suppose I could go into businesses, maybe. But, oh boy, I have a lot of tabs open. Oh, wait, no, that's that's you that saw the tabs open. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I don't even know. Now that I click business, I don't even know if it changes anything. I'm not really sure how this website's designed to work. Maybe I'm just totally zoning. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Maybe type in a restaurant specifically. Yeah, that's a good idea, I guess. Triple, triple A or something. Um,. But I don't think I'm going to still come up with something that's saying, eat here. I mean, there's recipe for yeah. cocktails right here, if you want me to count that. But um, on this one, New Fast Casual Mediterranean Restaurant opens to big crowds in IDS, which on July 20th. <laughs> that was a while ago. But, yeah, I don't know if it's going to, if this is going to be, again, I'm sure that this website has more capabilities than I'm giving it, but mm -hmm. then again, it's the designers. Like yeah. the designer should be the one to be able to make the capabilities easy for the user to like. You do. mean a graphic designer? So what would you do to enhance this website to be maybe more user friendly? Um, I there's just so many tabs they got going up top here. Which is like good and good and bad, I guess. It just makes it so busy. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I maybe I don't know. I guess 
it's it's like engineered pretty good. It's just when I think I would change the searching to give you like a little bit better results or like try and use different keywords, like act like have the keywords find different things. But ooh, I found eat and drink, so maybe maybe this could find me get me to a restaurant. I think this is it. But I, I the the problem okay the problem with that was so there's all sec all sections and then I'd go down to variety and it it's very smooth but it's not very obvious yeah that that's gonna open up into that big of a menu I mean it's got a tiny little arrow down here I didn't even notice it maybe it's because your screen's dirty but um I don't know it was kind of like I think that these these up top these top bars should drop down mm -hmm. over this ad or something because who cares about seeing the ad anyway and instead of having to go up top here next to the search bar and click all sections mm -hmm. and then having these like these, I don't know the, the pan out menus here but I don't know I didn't I'm not that good of a web designer <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah I don't know that's probably what I would do to change it but I still got, I really want to see if this eat and drink one. Uh, that gives uh, me the result. What am I looking for? Just a restaurant yeah, to eat at? A like a good restaurant? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Um, wow. Uh, where's the place to eat? Here we go. Rick Nelson gives you his take on the menu. Good and bad. So, here we go. Um, earliest... Or like the most recent postings are August 12th, August 2nd, July 26th. But Wyzetta, a four-star French bistro from star chef Gavin Kaysen. So we could go there. Yeah, we'll go peep there. it, peep four-star. Right. Oh, peep it, all right. It's whatever. All right, we'll look at it. Break the bag, it's okay. <laughs> it's your birthday. It's all right, I'm here. Man, you made it. I made it. <laughs> yeah. Well. I don't know. I probably could have... If I was like... I don't know. I feel like I should. it should have been easy to get there, and I feel, but I also feel like maybe... Mm -hmm. If I knew what I was trying... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, I guess. Could have been easier, but... It wasn't impossible. I was kind of goofing around, I guess. But, but <laughs> okay, actually, when I searched food... When I searched food on the little search bar thing, mm -hmm. it should have been like showing like my the results by category kind yeah. of like it should have been like all right here's your categories that have this keyword and then it should have been like there's this many inside of food and drink that, and like maybe yeah I don't know they should have done that because I didn't even know food and drink existed and I I mean mm -hmm. most of the time people are gonna go straight to that, that search. True. Well, search eyeglass thing, the browse thing. So I don't, yeah, it's fine. Oh, do you have it? Do you have any other questions for me now that we're finished? Um, no, no, no. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah, I will escort you out. Oh, I got. Oh, see ya. Huh? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that was probably the weirdest video I've ever made. <laughs> Thank you, said it. Uh...